Most people are trying to break into cybersecurity waste months learning the wrong things. And honestly, it's not even your fault. There's so many different ways to learn cybersecurity that it's easy to get confused and overwhelmed. When I first got interested in cybersecurity, I had no idea where to start. I spent months bouncing between YouTube videos, blogs, and random tutorials. I tried self-teaching at first, and while it was exciting, I had no clear direction, and I felt like I was just running in circles. And that's when I realized I needed some structure and I started researching my different options. If you're new here, my name is Ben and I make videos like this one every single week. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out. Now let's go ahead and get right into the video. So right now there's a huge demand for cybersecurity professionals with the starting median salary being $91,000 per year. This indicates that the profession is in demand and can bring you a good income. But in order to get to that point, there's three main paths that people can take. The first one is self-teaching and this is the one that I personally tried first. When I first started looking into cybersecurity, I had no idea where to start. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and downloaded several free resources and started with self-teaching. Some of the pros of self-teaching is the fact that it's extremely affordable. You don't need a lot of money in order to get started. It has a really flexible pace, so you really study whenever you have free time. And there's tons of free or low-cost resources to help you get started. Some of the cons of self-teaching include that there's no structure. It's really easy to get over overwhelmed or demotivated. There's no feedback or mentorship, and it's hard to prove your skills to employers. So like I said before, it's free and super cheap. Platforms like YouTube, Try Hack Me, Hack the Box, there are a lot of great resources out there, but without accountability or guidance, it's really easy to lose motivation. And without clear structure or feedback, I found it really difficult to stay on track and stay motivated, and also found it difficult to get some hands-on experience. Number two on the list is the tip typical college route. The average US tuition is over $38,000 per year. And after four years, you probably have a lot of debt and not so much hands-on experience. Some of the pros of going the typical college route include a structured curriculum, access to professors and peer networks, internships or research opportunities if you're lucky, and lastly, a degree that still helps with corporate and government jobs. Some of the cons of college degrees is the fact that it's really expensive and also time-consuming a lot of times it takes four years at least to finish your degree. A lot of times the material that they're teaching you is not aligned with current industry practices or tools. College classes tend to be really theory heavy and less real world experience based. I personally took the typical college route and it took me over four years to graduate and cost me thousands of dollars in tuition. And looking back at it, there's definitely more efficient ways to go about landing a job in cybersecurity. And the third main way is going to be boot camps. Boot camps are fast track programs designed to get you job ready. But not all boot camps are created equal. Some are over promising and under delivering. But finding the right boot camp can be a complete game changer for your development. A great boot camp should teach relevant, up to date material from industry professionals, offer hands on labs and not just theory, provide real world projects ideally from real companies, include career coaching and support, and lastly, be affordable and also offer flexible payment plans. After doing my own research, I found a boot camp that meets all of these characteristics, and that's when everything really started to come together. And once you've chosen a studying path, it's important to understand what you need to learn. And today I'll walk you through the five skills that I needed to learn in order to land a job in cybersecurity and how to start learning these skills. Skill number one is going to be networking fundamentals. Networking is the foundation of cybersecurity, whether you like it or not, and you can't secure anything if you don't know how it works. Every cybersecurity concept, whether it's malware detection or incident response, involves some form of networking. So some of the basic concepts include things like the OSI model, the TCP IP stack, IP addressing, subnetting, DNS, understanding common protocols and what they do, and getting more hands-on with tools like Wireshark and TCP dump. I remember first learning about the OSI model and thinking to myself, do I really need to memorize all of these layers in order to understand networking? But once I actually visualized how data moves across a network, thanks to different tools like Wireshark, it made it so much easier. And this is one of the first things that I did in Triple Tens program where they guide you through analyzing traffic with real tools. And that's where Triple Ten comes to play. Triple Ten is a beginner friendly online bootcamp with unlimited externship opportunities and tuition starting at $182 per month. 
which is way cheaper than college tuition. You can even save up to $3,220 if you pay in advance, which is a great deal. It's a program that contains 14 different sections that go over multiple cybersecurity concepts that involve reading and also hands-on projects. And in the first stage of Triple Ten's curriculum, you'll start with networking basics. You'll get hands-on labs where you map out networks, analyze packets, and see how devices actually communicate. It's beginner-friendly and builds your foundation before moving on to more security specific topics. So moving on to skill number two, that is going to be system administration and scripting. Most cyber attacks happen because systems aren't configured or patched properly. And knowing your way around Windows and Linux can help you defend these systems properly. And on the other hand, scripting, whether it's PowerShell, Python, or Bash, can be really useful in automating repetitive tasks, which makes you a more valuable person on the team. So learning things like navigating through Linux, command line basics, and scripting basics will help you so much in becoming an effective cybersecurity professional. When I first logged into a Linux terminal, I had no idea what I was doing and I didn't know any basic commands. And for scripting, I thought that was something that only software engineers and developers did. But then I saw a real use case and wrote a bash script that would monitor log files for any potential brute force attacks. And this was when I realized how automation and scripting can really set myself apart from my competition in cybersecurity. And within Triple Ten's model, modules, you get hands-on with both operating systems, teaching you how to navigate the terminals, read logs, and even write small scripts to parse data or scan files. You'll actually build these skills in a lab and not just read about them. And by the time you finish this section, you'll feel comfortable navigating both operating systems and writing your own scripts, even if you've never touched a terminal instance before. Skill number three is security monitoring and knowing how to use an SIEM, also known as a SIM. Most entry-level cyber security jobs like SOC analysts or threat analysts revolve around monitoring logs and alerts. SIM tools like Splunk and Waza are industry standard and knowing how to use them would be really good to have under your belt. So understanding how to query within these SIMs and parse through logs and learning how to conduct an investigation is going to be an extremely important skill to have. Employers want candidates who can read logs, triage alerts, and take action depending on what needs to be done, not just someone who can memorize definitions. The first time I used Splunk, I had no idea how to even query or what to even look for. I had a data set right in front of me and just started typing random keywords hoping that something would stick. But once I learned how to write basic queries and trace a user's activity through logs, it really started to feel like solving a puzzle. And it quickly became one of the most interesting parts of cybersecurity for me. And the best way to learn these skills is through Triple Ten Cyber Program that have multiple modules that go over things like how to deploy a SIM, triage alerts and anomalies, as if you were really a SOC analyst. These modules will walk you through how to structure your investigation, understand different event types, and also get hands-on with tools that are used in the industry like Splunk, Wireshark, and Waza. So if you're someone who is looking to build up your blue teaming skill set and you thrive off of structured hands-on learning, the Triple Ten Cyber Program would be a great place to start. And make sure you stay until the end of the video to hear about a special offer from Triple Ten. Moving on to skill number four, and that is going to be vulnerability management. In vulnerability management, your job is to find vulnerabilities before attackers do. This means scanning systems, analyzing risks, and helping these teams resolve these issues before an attacker discovers them. When I first started, I thought vulnerability management just involved pressing a button to scan a system and just read the report and that was all. But it's way more than just that. You have to understand what the scan found, the importance of it, and who to tell and how to resolve the issue. I remember one of my mock vulnerability scans marking something as critical, but it really turned out to be a false positive. That taught me how important it was to validate your findings and understand what you're looking at before raising any alarms. And the cyber program from Triple Ten has three sprints that cover scanning, exploitation basics, and remediation planning, something most beginner courses completely skip. You'll configure a firewall, run a Nessus scan, and learn how to communicate and present these findings findings in a way where a non-technical stakeholder audience can understand. These are some valuable skills to have in a GRC or vulnerability management type of role. And to be honest, there's not a whole lot of training or certifications out there that do exactly this. And one of the best parts about Triple Ten's programs is after you complete a program and you don't find a job within 10 months, you'll get 100% of your money back guaranteed. So honestly, you really have nothing to lose. So moving on to the last skill at number five, we have soft skills and interview skills. Now you guys might be wondering, Ben, why do we even 
have to have soft skills. What's the point of this? And to be quite frank with you guys, tech skills will get you in the door, but soft skills will keep you there. Being able to explain technical concepts to a non-technical team and being someone who is easy to work with and being able to present things clearly can be the difference between you getting hired or getting passed over. And to be honest, guys, when I first started cybersecurity, I thought it was going to be a job where you just sit behind a computer screen and you barely talk to anyone throughout the entire day. But honestly, as someone who works in cybersecurity, I talk to so many people every single day with different types of backgrounds, whether it's IT staff, HR people, and sometimes even people working in legal. And early on, I struggled to be able to explain technical concepts in a non-technical, easy to understand way. But one of the most helpful practices that I've done to help with this is explaining basic concepts like how a firewall works to someone maybe who's never touched a computer in their lives. And that's when I really discovered how important soft skills are in the cybersecurity industry. And believe it or not, Triple Ten's program also has modules that prepare you for cybersecurity interviews by giving you mock interviews, star method coaching, and feedback from industry mentors, helping you refine your communication and your confidence. You'll also get a lot of support from tutors and career coaches, so you won't be navigating the job hunt alone. The community and coaching helped me with presenting and marketing myself better, which honestly mattered way more than I originally thought when it comes to job hunting. And Triple Ten student stories are proof that people have transitioned from backgrounds like teaching and retail and even nursing into cybersecurity. So overall, these are the five skills I would prioritize if I were a complete beginner learning cybersecurity in 2025 in order to land a job. And throughout the video, I mentioned Triple Ten Cyber Program, and honestly, it's where I would recommend and you start learning cybersecurity. You also get a certification and a real business project that you can use to add to your resume and LinkedIn to make yourself more marketable to potential employers. And the best part is Triple Ten offers a money back guarantee. So if you complete the program and you can't find a job within 10 months, you can get 100% of your tuition refunded. So you really have nothing to lose and this is going to be a perfect place to start. Improve your career by using my code Ben for 30% off all of their programs. And click the link in my bio or scan this QR code for a free career consultation. With that being said, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop me a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. With that being said though guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.